right, uh, we're going to talk about 60 degree split sole rakers here. As you can see we have a model built for you to look at before we do our uh, second raker over here. Why we're going to do 60 degree rakers and why we're going to do split sole rakers. All right, 60 degree, you guys did the 45 degree earlier. All right, you can see it takes up a lot of space. Whatever your height is, that's exactly what the length of your raker is going to be. So if you've got an eight, eight foot uh, insertion point, you're going to have eight foot this way plus the extension for your cleat. So it takes up a lot of room. All right. So if we have a confined area, if this was close to another building, if this was in a small alley, if you had uh, some sort of debris or something that you can't get that full length in, we're going to go to a 60 degree raker. And you can see what a 60 degree does for us. We can still keep our eight foot insertion point. Uh, but it shortens the distance of our sole plate. Okay, now talking about load paths a little bit. When you look at your 45 degree raker over there, if you can imagine this wall wanting to tilt towards us, most of the load path on a 45 degree anchor, uh, raker is going to want to go straight back on that sole plate, kind of like push it away from the building. On a 60 degree, you can see this, this angle here, 60 degrees, is more directly into the ground, so it's load path is going to want to more transfer more down the raker and down into the earth. All right. So that's kind of two different ways that we're going to capture this load. This one is going to have more pressure pushing directly back on the whale system, where this one is going to have more weight pushing right back into the earth. Follow me? Now, as far as the split sole, the reason why we would go with a split sole raker other than a solid sole, when you use a solid sole raker, you need a 90 degree angle of, um, of a moderately tough or hard surface for that raker to be effective. All right? Now, if we don't have that, if we don't have a 90 degree, if, this, uh, if the grade slopes away from the building, if we have some debris, uh, you know, things have fallen off the building, we've got a bunch of crap laying all over here on the ground, we don't have time to clear it all out, clear about three feet of area, and we can start sliding these in. The, solids, the uh, split sole rakers have a lot of adjustability into them, okay? I think they're, they're a little bit easier to build than the solid soles once you get the hang of them, all right? And what we're going to do is a little bit more math, a little bit more difficult raker cuts because they're not 45s on each end, but there's some tricks we'll show you here, some multipliers or coefficients that we use to get these lengths, uh, and it's actually fairly simple once you get the hang of them.